Good afternoon, folks. Witcher here with an in-book review, and this is what we would call a coffee table book. Um, Paul and I, uh, we were going through uh, for a Project Tiger and the reference material, and some of this stuff is old, and uh, there's a lot of things that I did not acquire, okay, because they were not what I needed. But one of the things that I was going through, and I, I got the, 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 the Zerp on this, and by the way, you see this? This is Zimrit, and it's actually textured, same as the tank and so on, so it's absolutely beautiful. The name of the book is Tank, the Definitive Visual History of Armored Vehicles, okay, from the beginning to the end. Uh, ISBN number 978. One four six five four five seven five nine two, and it's uh, Smithsonian. And uh, let's go inside, and we're going to have to move down here. This is a large book, and see who publishes this. Uh, okay, da -da -da, Smithsonian curator, blah blah blah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, po -po 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 -po. publishing Great Britain by uh, Dorling. Uh, Kindersley Limited, in association with the Tang Museum, Trading Company Limited, and da -de da -de da 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 So we have the contents here, and uh, let's see. We're going to try to zoom in as much as we can and uh, see what we can do. And I've already perused this, and, of course, i got to go to my advanced settings, and we got to take this out of auto and adjust the... Uh, the gain on that. There we go. That's a little bit better. And uh, get out of that. Uh, get out of that, I should say. And this is what we want to see. And we'll just, uh, oops. You got to see what I'm doing. Okay. So uh, we have uh, the, you know, the, uh, the sections, okay. Uh, the first tanks, okay, to 1918. Then we got between the wars, okay, 18 and 39. Uh, World War II, which is 39 to 45. Uh, then we go to the Cold War period of 45 to 91. And then post-Cold War, which is after 91, which is also known as modern uh, AFVs. And we have, uh, we got references and so on and so forth. Uh, one of the things that uh, post-Cold War, okay, after 1991, we've got uh, counterinsurgency vehicles, uh, logistics tank development, uh, troop carriers, and so on and so forth, army games. Uh, pa -pa -pa -pa. And even at the end there, they got uniforms and protective clothing and so on and so forth. This is just a, a reference. They got evolution of the tank, the tank engines, tracks and suspension, firepower. Uh, firepower is really, really interesting. Okay, and anti-tank weapons and so on and so forth. So we're just going to, I'm not going to hit every section. Okay, we're just going to try to get the, the main gist of it. And uh, there we have it, uh, 1918, the first set, uh, the first tanks. And uh, there's a brief history in each section. Okay, and then we come down to uh, the nitty gritty of itself. And let's see if I can't uh, show more here. It's a large volume. Okay, this opens up the rather largely. And uh, there's not a lot that we can do but that. We'll just try shifting it. There's the first. Uh, this was known as Little Willie, okay. It, uh, the 1915, and it comes from the UK. And uh, Leonardo da Vinci's tank. And, of course, uh, here we have uh, the Mach 4. And because these pictures are rather big, I think we're just going to zoom out here. Okay, and to try to get as much of this in shot as we can, and there we have it. We got the Mark IV, and uh, brief descriptions and so on and so forth. All your uh, uh, the your specifications and all that, and we have shots of the interior. So very interesting. And here we got the various uh, color palettes, and the different vehicles and all that, and which their country of origin. And back in those days, I said uh, this top one, which was the. Uh, uh, the A7 uh, Victor Sturmpanzerwagen, okay, uh, Felix Barcelonensis, or Daniel, okay, did a beautiful rendition of that, and uh, we got the Renault, and so on and so forth, and all, they all come with the interiors, okay, and it's discussed, uh, we got the factory, and uh, here's a beautiful uh, uh, Mark IV, okay, back in the day. And uh, once again, 
you got the experimental tank. So everything that has to do with tanks, it's in here. Uh, between the wars, okay, we've got uh, 1918 and 1939. And uh, beautiful color photographs, okay, and explanations on each one of these. We're just going to peruse through that. And uh, we get to the section there. Uh, here we go. Uh, uh, this is your Panzer uh, Panzer Kampfwagen 4, okay. Uh, variant H, okay, it didn't have the Scherzens on it, okay, which is a vehicle that uh, I like. And every tank that was ever built is in this book, including a couple from India, the uh, Dial Khalid and the Alte, which is in Turkey, I think, or something like that. Anyways, some of these... Uh, that are on my uh, tank list, but the models aren't made. Uh, they uh, uh, they're in this book, so that's interesting. And here we got the U.S. tanks from uh, 1941 and 49, including the Easy H Sherman. Okay, uh, absolutely wonderful book. Uh, it's not for everybody. If you want pretty pictures, that this is a, the encyclopedia of tanks, for the lack of a better word. And I've got two of those. They're not quite uh, as good as this, and uh, the you know the Russian armor. Okay, the interiors, uh, absolutely wonderful uh, volume. Uh, here we go. We've got the Centurion. Okay, and they got a brief history on that good stuff. Uh, the interiors, absolutely wonderful, well worth the expense. Uh, this cost me forty-two dollars shipped for a book of this size and this quality, all glossy papers, ten by twelve. And it has a grand total of 256 pages. And <clears throat> it comes with two beautiful color photos in the back, the 8x10 glossies that can uh, be framed. And here we have the Stug 3 of 1940. Uh, this vehicle, uh, it was on, I'm subscribed to a Tank Museum, I think, or some of that. And it was a vehicle, the five uh, top armors, uh, and this vehicle was talked about. And this is not on ditching off, this is protection. And that just happens to be a Swedish model. And, of course, we've got the Clementine here. And uh, absolutely beauty, colorful photograph. And they got a nice envelope in the back to keep them in if you don't want to frame. Um, a nice volume. Uh, Paul and I, we had our conversation this afternoon. We went through that uh, that book that uh, he PDF for me. Uh, the book is no longer available. Can't remember the name of it. Uh, there's a used copy uh, available, okay, for uh, $450. And I go, and no, I don't uh, want that for 34 pages. Uh, through discussion with uh, Paul today, he said uh, there's nothing of value, okay, in the modeling section. But the section I did get from Paul okay was everything that ever happened to the tiger and but we're afraid to ask all the modifications month to month uh 101 that just happens to be uh from uh the 509 tank battalion paul found that out for me okay and it was in russia in 1944 so that works now i just gotta happen to do my research from the information provided there okay to find out uh, who his commander was and so on and so forth so nice, short and sweet, uh, definitely a, a book uh, that uh, I was surprised when I pulled this out of the box <laughs> and it's textured. OK, uh, this came in quite a it came in a big bag, like, you know, the Santa Claus uh, pouch for the lack of a better word. And it was shipped from the States. Absolutely wonderful. It was well packed and all that. And this is what we had. We known as a coffee table book. OK, and uh, great references and uh, well worth the, the money. OK, uh, the book wasn't that expensive. The shipping to Canada from the U.S. was. So it is what it is. Uh, anybody looking for a good reference, OK, that has it all, the various periods and so on and so forth and how the tank evolved. Uh, absolutely wonderful. Thanks for watching, folks. Without further ado, Switcher signing off.